Happy New Year, everyone. We're welcoming 2024 with a fun contest that supports local restaurants in the Sacramento region, as well as low-income elementary schools. And we're talking about Sacramento's favorite culinary celebration that kicks off on January 12th, and here's how it works. My downtown started over 10 years ago. Um, it's a notoriously slow time of year for restaurants after the holiday, but there are so many great farm to fork restaurants in the central city. And so it was a really nice sentiment for us to be able to possibly bring in people who may not have experienced these restaurants before at a more affordable price point. So they could also experience fine dining where, while also giving a boost to a lot of the restaurants. I'm Madeline Smith. I am the communications manager with Downtown Sacramento Partnership. Dine Downtown is really meant to support the community as much as possible. So it's really nice for the restaurants because it's such a slow time of year to bring in, bring in additional businesses. And it's also really nice for all of the visitors and residents and employees to get to experience all of these great restaurants in town. Um, it is a one price point, so it's $45 for three courses at every single restaurant. So I try and squeeze in as many as possible during that week and a half. Hello guys, this is Tony Esegoy along with Tatiana Bedoya and we are both real estate professionals right here in the greater Sacramento region. Hey Tatiana, why do we want people to stay until the very end of this video? Well, because you and a guest can enter to win a specially crafted three course meal at some of the highest rated restaurants in our region. We have 30 participating restaurants all within the central city, mostly downtown, which is really fun for us. Um, what they do is they apply and then we review all of the details, all of the value of it, the price point, and also their menu. And then we help them promote their menu to the rest of the public. If someone wanted to enjoy Dine Downtown, all they would have to do is visit one of the participating restaurants like Firehouse or Butcher and Barrel. Um, these are really elevated dining experiences, so it's really nice. And then all they have to do is go in and they'll be given a special Dine Downtown menu and they'll be able to order from that. It's three courses. Many of the restaurants will offer an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Sometimes they throw in a soup instead of a dessert. Um, so you do get a little variety in there for people who may not want something that sweet. They might like something that's more savory or vice versa. So it's a personalized experience for your own fine dining experience in the farm to fork capital, but it's always really nice. If you want to see all of the participating restaurants and the menus, they're posted to go downtown Zach. So here's how you guys can enter our contest. First, ensure that you're following this page. Secondly, give this post a thumbs up. And then tag a friend that you would love to experience dying downtown with. And lastly, share this post on your story.